When Parkinson's disease is first diagnosed, it usually responds extremely well to tablet therapy. And in fact, most patients gain good control of their symptoms for a period of five to 10 years with tablet therapy alone. The difficulty that occurs as Parkinson's goes on, however, is that some patients will develop more inconsistent and unreliable control. As neurologists, we spend a lot of time adjusting medication to try and smooth out control again. The difficulty is, however, that for some people, no matter what you do with the medication, people get to a point that they're just simply not able to achieve consistent control with medication. And that's really where the surgical treatment for Parkinson's disease can be tremendously helpful. Generally, when we're trying to explain the benefits of surgery for Parkinson's disease, it's best to think about what patients are like at their worst and at their best. And in fact, what the surgery does is it gets them to about three quarters of their best, but consistently, three quarters of their best most of the time. Surgery has a couple of other benefits also. It allows for a substantial reduction in medication, and that can also be associated with a substantial reduction in dyskinesia. In fact, in the published studies, dyskinesia tends to improve by 75 to 90 percent. Reducing medications has its benefits too, because one of the things that we've learned over the years is that some of the symptoms that we consider to be just manifestations of Parkinson's disease in patients on high-dose therapy actually related to their medication.